A field of sunflowers is turning their back on the sun, which is so strange. And people are talking about this artificial sun. Check this out. So there are patents out there right now for an artificial sun, and China already launched one and showed an example. So people are showing videos that they took online, and they have a solar simulator. Now this is all patented, there's images, this is online, you can find this information here. But the videos that I'm going to be showing you, some people think that due to this video of the sunflowers turning their back on the sun, People are saying that that is not our real sun. They are, do you see? Now what could the possible explanation be for this? For a plant to turn away from the sun? Comment below what you think about this. Absolutely the weirdest thing in the world. How is the sun doing that? That is the... Look at this. Look at this. Look. 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 Oh, it is good. What? What? I can't see the color of the sun. Well, I mean, it's, it's, I'm, I'm looking at the sun. Look what it's doing. It's pulsating, man. Look at that. Have you ever questioned our son lately that there is something weird going on? Geji, Sam, and I come up with this discussion and we talked about it yesterday. You heard the news, right? About sun flares, sunstorms, and so on. Do you think it's real? Or is this another lie? If you get the concept of every beauty shown, there is madness and deceive behind curtains. Let's just say, for example, the Northern Lights. And a lot of people capture this beauty. But the reason behind it is not that pretty. Religious people may call it under the throne of God. Who knows? Spiritual people call it an infinite energy. The reason behind this Northern Lights may be because we are having two suns. One real and local, one fake and plasma. Now let's cut the bullshit about this narcissistic astronaut. China release an artificial sun. Yeah, and there's a lot of people have noticed it. Everyone noticed it. Before, we still have sun gazing. We can see the sun and not hurting our eyes. But right now, you cannot even look at it for just one second. And these two suns are coexisting because NASA using this sun simulator. And you've probably seen this photo, right? That they called quote-unquote James Webb Telescope on our real local sun just to magnify the intensity of the fake sun. As I told you before, it's all energy source. These two suns, the fake one and the real one, are like two magnets pushing and pulling that causes negative energy and it affects the ionosphere and that won't be good at all. There is something going on in our skies and these people doesn't want you to know. And this is also the things that I told you about, that there is a weird things going on or things might happen. There is no sun flares. This is all made up. Our real sun that's local is just chilling up, giving you a source of energy and light. This is the reason why they want to ban TikTok. They want to ban the Bible. 
These people doesn't want you to discover the secret of the universe, that it's all written on our scriptures. Maybe, just maybe, our real sun, real moon, and this fake sun is all plasma, just like what they call planets. It might be plasma and represents our soul system, not solar system. It's like the fourth state of matter. And these emit too much energy. Like the amount of power that comes from a plasma, these two suns might be a plasma, pushing and pulling each other from magnetic forces. And it's weakening our electromagnetic field and causing these northern lights to spread around north. You've probably seen the photos like this, right? This is the patent for sun simulator. This is the reflection coming off of the sun from a high altitude weather balloon. It looks so similar, yeah? Similar to James Webb telescope. This telescope is actually a sun simulator. Again, this NASA doesn't need telescopes because they edit CGI photos. This fake sun is dangerous. This claims that it is five times hotter than our real sun, achieving temperature of 158 million degree Fahrenheit just for 17 minutes. And all of this mimics the real sun, pretending to produce clean energy. This is their dream, to create a nuclear fusion. This involves fusing hydrogen atoms into helium just to create this mimic fake sun. A Ptolemaic designed superheat plasma to replicate stellar conditions. And all of this, it's because of your money. It's all because of money. There's nothing good going on with playing with nature, especially playing with God. They fake the rain, they fake the cloud, they fake going to space, they fake the planets. What else they are faking? There is something going on in space, going and coming, that it's not human like us. And this is the thing that they are hiding from us. So if you want to be a great liar, be an astronaut. Bro, this is not our son. No cap, that really ain't our son. Our son is supposed to be a hexagrammatron in or a circle shape. It is neither one of those shapes at this moment. Finding number one, why does the sun have a refresh rate like a fucking screen? Just keep watching it, you'll see. And since when is the sun a big ass white light? It's always either been yellow or orange. Look at that thing glowing. I ain't moving. The second finding is that it looks like a 1 billion watt light bulb. It looks like an LED bulb. And if you watch this video closely, you can actually see it refresh. It gets brighter and then it gets smaller. It, it's weird. It, it has a lemon shape to it. It's almost like you need a blue light filter out here. So hopefully by now everyone knows there's a sun simulator. But did you guys know there's two? Probably not. So check this out. I knew the James Webb was the telescope or the, the sun simulator. I just couldn't find it. I mean, I knew where it was, but I wasn't 100% sure that if that was it. But I'm now 100% sure that is the James Webb telescope that we're all looking at from the ground. And it's right here. Look at that. You can see the sun is actual a hexagon. And then the triangle shape is like the, the, the floor base, the heating shield, right? Right there. Now check this out. I took an image from Google cut the top and put the you know base base floor or floor base on to the sun right there that's exactly what the james webb telescope looks like no and what i'm circling right now that's the heating shield that's um that everyone thinks that's permanent it mimics the sun and it protects the james webb telescope i guess but look at this doesn't that look like the james webb you got the hexagon and you got the floor base right there triangle it's actually facing down there you go. Yep, it's facing down. It looks just like it. I mean, it doesn't look just like it just because, like, you know, that fucking picture is just a picture and everything else, like, right here. You got the shadows, you got the clouds covering it up, like, you got lights over it, so we can't really see a clear image of the James Webb, but I'm, that's pretty, I'm pretty sure that's the James Webb. I don't know what else to say. I mean, like, you guys cannot deny that that wasn't the James Webb telescope. It is the sun simulator. By the way, this is the real sun from five years ago before it was attached by, like, all these, like, mechanic instruments that they did now so remember that right there's nothing and i did the settings so you don't see sun flares y'all it's not a sun flare all right what y'all seeing right now right here boom this is what i found when i went deep in the internet 
This is exactly what's attached to that sun. Look at that satellite. If you open it up, and I have a feeling they open it up and then boom, they attach it from the front and back. That's what you get. Yo, we have a sun simulator and they're using the sun for a weapon system. That has to be it. I mean, you can't tell me otherwise. I mean, like I just proven, you know, we have a sun simulator. I've proven that the James Webb is a sun simulator. Now I got another picture that looks just like what's attached to the sun. Unless someone else has better better evidence than I do. We have a sun simulator and there's two. Leave a comment down below. I don't know about y'all, but y'all see that little thing up here? That thing is hitting a lot different this summer. It feels like we're getting microwaves. So y'all, let me know where you're from and if you guys are feeling the same thing. Because, man, I can't be out in the sun for more than five minutes. I feel like my skin is cooking. So leave in the comments where you're from and if it's feeling the same way there because something weird is going on. This ain't this ain't funny no more. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. Let me put the video around the other way so you guys can see that sun. It don't even look like a sun. Look at that thing. I remember the sun like being yellow. This thing looks bright white. Let's see if I can zoom in to it. Yeah, something's going on definitely. That does not look like a real sun. Y'all just let me know in the comments where you're from and if anybody else has noticed anything different about the sun because here in Texas, it definitely feels very different this year. We are getting microwaved. Y'all have a blessed one. Why does the sun look like an LED bulb? Guys, what is going on with the sun today? Can somebody else please tell me if the sun is making you feel really weird today? So I just went to the park with my ch my kids and yesterday we went to the park. We I think we were out for like almost three hours. It was super, super hot out. It was like over here, um, it was like 76 degrees, which is like really, really warm um, for Massachusetts right now. And so today I do not feel good being in the sun. So I went to the park, it was near the water so I don't know if it was like a mixture of like, it was like the wind was a little cold, colder than I thought it was gonna be out. But I literally felt like the sun was like hurting my eyeballs. Like it was way too white and way too bright. Like I, I have to show you pictures cause it's not the same sun that we always used to see, I swear. Tell me what you think. Am I crazy? Tell me, let me know. Since when is the sun this white? Looks like the LED sun simulator. Guys, if you follow me, you'll know about the fake sun and the second sun. Today's video, someone has caught the sun simulator at night, aka the fake sun. Definitely gonna wanna stick around for this video. What you're seeing in this clip here is the sun simulator. It's malfunctioning or they forgot to turn it off because the clip is taken at night. When the camera pans to the right, you see the moon. He pans back to the left and he can see the sun simulator. It's not a UFO, it's not the sun, it's at night and it's in the Gold Coast of Australia. Let me know what you think this is. Like, subscribe, comment and I'll make more for you. Can somebody give me a scientific reason for why there are little circles inside of the sun here? Because it looks to me as if there's a giant light bulb in the sky and that we don't I even have a real sun that's actually a simulator so what is even going on here because people have been taking videos since the eclipse and they've been saying a whole bunch of crazy stuff and they've been seeing weird stuff in the sky as well so and this guy took some footage with his camera as well and he saw another moon right next to the eclipse he, that thing moving around that's a lens flare because it's moving around but there's a still moon in the sky there a tons of people other people have seen that too so if the moon is supposed to be covering the sun then what is that thing right there and then, and why is there a second one way over there look at this this is the reflection of the sun i could not believe it after seeing a lot of videos of people explaining how the sun has been replaced i thought let me give it a try look at this video all right guys this is my studio light you see the orb it's ref the, the bulbs are reflecting off of the lens, is my guess, and it's showing you where the light source is coming from, which is why you see the orb, right? Just like the light. Now let's go take a look at the sun.
And it looks exactly the same as the one that I took. Look at this family. Look family. And if we zoom in, look how it looks like. And again, this is how it looks like from far. We have the sun over here and the reflection over here. And again, a close up. You can see every dot in the sun. Two suns are being spotted and recorded in the sky all over the world by dozens if not hundreds of people and I'm gonna show you a couple of clips and after I do I'll tell you my opinion Booskies If you see this phenomena, you're absolutely not tripping. A two sun video was reported in China 12 years ago. And like I said, these are being seen by a lot of people all over the world. So I don't know if it's two suns, a sun and a planet, an optical illusion, or a giant ball of cheese, but all these people are seeing and recording something you guys are absolutely not gonna believe this. Over the last couple days, I've been coming across these glares from the sun, right? It's like in a honeycomb shape size. No way is this real. This is a sun simulator by Boeing that was talked about in 2020. Do you guys see this shape of it? It's literally the exact same shape as what people are seeing from the sun glare. Y'all ain't gonna believe it. The debunked video in 2020 talking about Boeing sun simulator is that exact shape. I am telling you people over the last couple days, it's a whole world of crazy. Hey, let's throw in the Schumann resonance. Have you guys been following and watching that? Yeah, so if you've been dealing with a lot of headaches, it's like, what's today? Today is the 14th. So if you have been dealing with a lot of headaches around the 13th, this is all from the 13th. So it's crazy enough that all of a sudden people are now recording a honeycomb glare from the sun. 2020 had a video talking about the Boeing Sun Simulator, which is in the exact same shape. And now we're going through a whole hell of a lot of crazy. <laughs> okay. Absolute proof that the sun is not real. I was created by NASA under Operation Star. As you can see here, the hologram is glitched and you can see two suns. Today I managed to catch the moment where sun exposes itself. This is in the UK right before the 8 p.m. And the reason why I was recording the sun is because prior to this I have noticed light flashes like a glitch. You know when your light bulb is about to go and it's flashing wild. That's exactly what I have seen and I immediately thought let me see if it's flashing with my camera because you can't see anything around the sun with a naked eye it's just too bright and when you use a camera you can see more clearly. And then I've seen the sun revealing itself from behind. I am glad I got this moment because when I take a photo, few people claim is not real and edited. The problem is that when I put such photo through the edition, it would reveal even more weird stuff, like for example this view, which makes zero sense to me right now. I actually encourage those who find it hard to believe to try record this by themselves. If you are open-minded and just want to prove it to yourself, why not give it a go? Oh, it with me. Oh. Here we go. The flat earth map dates back over 1000 years. This map is credited to being created by a Persian astronomer. His name was El Biruni and he lived between 973 AD to 1048 AD. It's the official map of the United Nations and also the United States Geological Survey. It used to be present in many places before the creation of NASA and the Antarctic Treaty in 1959. Here you see it with Admiral Byrd. 
This map has been restored by Dmitri from Russia with suggestions of mine, Idia Lenkar. Known by my YouTube channel Flat Earth Banjo, I asked Dmitri to include the Bermuda Triangle and Point Nemo, a place deep in the Pacific where NASA buries rockets. Then Robert Tazi, a professional mapmaker, came along and enhanced the map even more. There are many people now selling this map online, but if you could order it from my online store, I would greatly appreciate it. Visit my online store now, and order one of the items. I humbly thank you.